This is disclaimer. Here we do not swear allegiance to any brand or trend, but only to Mosel and Wallet. If you are fan, or a of vintage lenses, or a brand horror ecosystem bitch, or someone overly emotional who take any criticism of something you own as a personal insult. This video is not for you, so no need to bash this like button, and come back after your puberty. And... action. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Indeed. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Some days your chocolates are delicious. Others days some can be hard to swallow. Making you feel like your journey just became, became a difficult endless desert. That you must cross with the sole help of unadapted means and tools unsuited to your progress. Oh no! Usually recommended by people you thought experienced and qualified enough to guide you. It always start like that. Pick up the phone, I lay down, checking out the YouTube feed, and sure enough, out of nowhere, here one video about one new so-called awesome vintage lens, which I don't need. But let's watch another video to fact check the previous one, before I spend few hours on YouTube checking out this exact same lens, and deep down I suspect this is just about some YouTubers hype. I might be wrong as they all say this lens is the real deal, but hey, it's amazing how easily you can go through an illogical process of hacking your brain with the help of YouTube. Above some lenses just because of the hype, to realize that I don't like them, I don't use them, I barely touch them. I keep them hoping that one day I might change my mind, like for example this one. In my opinion, the most over hyped lens on YouTube. The so-called Helios Wide Angle, aka Le Grand Prix de Bruxelles 1958, aka the Mir 1B37. In fact, it's not much about the lens, but more about the first run hit. Go on YouTube or any vintage forum and say something negative about the Mir 1B. And it is like you are entering in one twilight zone. Everybody will say that because your model is of course defective or you don't know how to use it, this lens is great, Bruxelles Grand Prix, blah, 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 blah. Even some people might get upset. It's, uh, it's very special. I never read in one forum, yeah, except for this timid and rare swirly bokeh, there is nothing special about this lens. Just rewind the previous seconds as just made. I'm not talking about the color grading, I know I keep it basic, trying not to touch the color, but did you see something, anything different, anything special, anything you me? Nothing. Why? Because this lens is just average. And without exaggeration, it does not look like better than the Meki 35. I mean, we are talking about $60. It's not bad, but the reality is that it's nothing exceptional about it. Unlike the Helios 442 that I consider a must-have. Some people are claiming that the Helios 442 make, make the picture look cinematic. And they are not so far from the truth. For the Mir 1B, Let's say that uh, this is more cinema shit than cinematic. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> of course, chocolates are on all minds. It is usually an obsession. Some might like yours. Some, Some may, may find, find them, them disgusting. disgusting. Some would like to steal them from you. Although everyone thinks they have better than everyone else. But in reality it is only illusion and confusion. For the ones who did not realize that each of us comes into this world with our own box. That eating the chocolates of another certainly leads to indigestion and painful remorses. 
You might be tired sometimes. I'm pretty tired. But this is just the way it is. But I understand where the hype come from. This lens is in the shadow of the 44-2. Filmmaker needed one wide angle to pair with it. And he had before one very great price, something around $50. Now no more. You have to spend something like $100, $150 for one good model, up to $300 for one mint condition. So, no. But now, let's say one Bayer Stockholm Syndrome. They need to justify one bad purchase. One purchase that they expected something great, but just... Meh. This one above it for $100. I just have regret. Now let's wrap it up. My point. Don't buy it, except that if it makes sense, if you have to complete one Russian set to have this one, you will have one peace of mind, but just for the reminder, there was no control quality between the different models of me and Helios, color matching, thing like that, so I don't see the point anyway. You want your 35, 37 millimeter Russian, you buy this one. It makes sense if you have one set. Otherwise, don't bother wasting your money on it. Each of us comes into this world with the right chocolates for our diet. Mum always said there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by the box of chocolates. Where they go, where they been. To conclude, don't, don't envy, envy the, the boxes, boxes of others. Be satisfied with your own. Choose your companions carefully since a true friend never criticizes the little you have, and he will not blame you for what you don't have. And he will help you eat the bad chocolates with the hard days. And don't get mad at those who laugh at your chocolates. This is just a waste of time. Indeed, just a waste of time. Talking about hype and YouTube nonsense, I wanted to make one chapter about uh, the one dead horse that everybody seemed to enjoy beating when lacking some content or idea. Named the micro thought first system is one dying system, but we will keep it for one another time. This one, okay? Shall we? Bye bye. Yeah.